Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. My fellow channel, channel member, Brad. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face. Oh. Um, how was our week in Yu Gi Oh? Uh, let's start with Ben. Uh, it was a fine week. Yeah, played Black Wings again, went significantly worse than last time. Yeah, from, like, and this isn't meant to um, discredit you in any way, but were you last? No. Nah. I'd do it then. I think I got put through as a loss in the final round, but I didn't lose the final round. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, just whenever I went first, opened nothing but hand traps. So when I went second, opened nothing but starters. And I was like, it's just sure. the way it is tonight. It happens. Um, Master Duel, gone fine. Yes. We'll yes. get on that later. There's a whole lot to talk about in Master Duel. We'll leave that for now. Um, Brag, anything new going on with you? Uh, cracks and packs, as I always do. Nothing, nothing. Like, actually, I think I had like, one of my worst weeks for it. Like, just a few supers and nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. That is a bit Understandable. Yeah. Blake. Just a lot of Master Duel. Yes, which we will touch which on Which we will in get a minute. to. Um, yeah. yeah um, my week is just branded Despia Tings. Um, nothing really changed there. I would be tempted to play a different variant of it, and by different I mean the Dark Lord variant, which is significantly worse. But mm, I really yeah. like the Dark Lords. Just just right. just, there is no time like the present. Like... Yeah, if we like haven't got currently there's nothing... Well, eh, yes and no. Um, so, yeah, it's an interesting time where you can, I guess, play just fun shit. And the thing that's probably making me hesitate on it is that I was, like, playing fun shit when I was playing um, fucking Agents. Yeah. And that didn't go well. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm just resistant to doing fun things. That's fair. We're not here to have fun. You just go through that period where you go, I want to have fun, I'm losing, don't worry about it. Yeah, this is the thing. It's it's fine to have fun when you also win, but yeah. when you're trying to have fun, but it comes with an L, you're just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. this isn't fun. Nah. And again, it just comes into that newly discovered competitive spirit that I have. Yeah. I'm just like... You're just like, no. oh, I got one pack. Losing sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so moving on to news, um, we do start with some solemn news, unfortunately, this week. Um, Thursday night, it was announced that the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, manga and the series, uh, Kazuki Takahashi, uh, was found dead off the coasts of Japan, um, in his snorkeling gear. Uh, from what I can t- surmise and from the reports, he was attacked by a coral shark. Uh, while he was swimming, might have been after, might have been before. At the same time, difficult was, to say. Yeah, he loves like he he loved his diving and stuff. So it's probably probably how it's always going to go. Yeah. With scuba divers, crazy. Yeah, so it is a bit sad. Um, he was fifty nine, from what I can remember. So still relatively young in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it, uh, that's the thing. So he would have like well, this has been going for like twenty years. So, as far as I can Yeah, so he's think. come up with this pretty late... Like, I mean, it is young for a man, but to come up with like such a pivotal idea for kids... Mm. Um, yeah, well, he would have done it in his late 20s, early 30s. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. Mm. It's, um, obviously, if you're here, Yu-Gi-Oh! is quite a big part of it. Uh, a part of your existence, which is the rest of us. I mm. guess. It is absolutely mental to think about the spider web of like yeah. creation. To I'm not in this room. You're not in this. Like none of uh, us any of here. us at all. None of us. Are, we're not only are we just not in this room because we're not doing this podcast. I, we're not yeah, here because I, we're probably not friends. friends We've probably never like, met each other. Nope. Not not like and like not Andrew. Not any of the boys from locals. Yeah. Not a lot. Like it's, I brought this up when we were sitting watching TV the other night. I just looked at Frag and Seb and I was like. If it wasn't for him, we just wouldn't be here. Yep. Like, we wouldn't be living together. We wouldn't be chilling out watching Pokemon, I think, we were watching on yeah. TV. And that's just in this segment of our lives. When you think about when it actually came into our lives, when we were children. Oh, God, yeah, like, true. Think of the differences that would yeah. have made in your childhood. Like, yep. I would have been outside a lot more. True. Um, I was still outside a lot. Yeah. yeah, no church leave Plum, for Ben. Plumber came I, back for you. I wouldn't have been going to a church for religion I don't believe in to just play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, church locals. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I, have worked there. I wouldn't have like met anybody I met through work. Like, yeah, it was yeah. probably my gateway through to like pop culture stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause I didn't have video games. A lot of video games growing up. It was simply just play Pokemon on a Game Boy for years. 
So it was like the thing that got me watching TV. I wouldn't have some fairly stupid tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It... Uh, there's there's different like, obviously there could have been different fads that were taking this place at the time because this uh, Yu Gi Oh did start very much out as a fad but there was just a bit of soul there and also his drive to reinvent the show and the manga um, over and over kind of made it live this long it's kept me hooked the whole time uh, so yeah it's I he made it go further than a fad and so yeah like, I don't think any other <laughs> there's other card games. Well, I could be no, ma- but like even even you think about when Yu Gi Oh came out. Uh, yeah, Magic was a thing, but it wasn't directed at kids. It wasn't directed at like no. yeah. Like, getting I tried playing to... Magic back when I was like but the same age, and even... it just wasn't for me. Without the Pro- show with it, like yeah, yeah. And it's interesting that like for me at least, like I knew of the Pokemon game, but literally no idea how to play it. I don't know what it was about the show that bring me into it because even if you compare the game that we play and the show that we watched (laughs) there's very little overlap but it was still something about the two of them together that drove me to play the game at least i like pokemon and i like playing pokemon in terms of like the game and like on the odd occasion i'll play in a pokemon format but it's not the game that i'm most invested in yeah it just keeps going back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, in honesty, it hasn't left Yu-Gi-Oh. No, like it I just dabble doesn't. in other stuff, but I'm always just over here in the yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh section too. Um, so, of the time that you've spent in this game, what would you say is probably one of the things that you most remember? The thing that like clicks as like your golden YGO memory. Uh, the first Toys R Us tournament where, and it was like that rolling out like the posters of Yugi like the little booklet with little stamps like that mm. was like the go down to the store and then that's where I got like I've said it before the Thousand Eyes Restrict and the Metamorphosis from the Pharaonic Guardian pack and that was like the the seal the, like the thing of like oh I've just come up with this cool combo I'm going to normal summon a level 1 monster <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and so yeah from there like and then yeah every other memory since like there's tournaments is like been fun victories fun losses like great friends some enemies uh, yeah. <laughs> one or two but <laughs> yeah it that that caught that first memory uh how about you blake uh i am just sitting thinking about it like this the 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 earliest core memory i have in Yu Gi Oh that isn't just school bullshit was you <laughs> selling me bujin cards because i wanted to build that deck um, always, like, I always forget that I sold them to you. Yeah, because like, <laughs> yeah. it always like it's one yeah. of the few times that I've sold something. I don't know how you got them out of me. I don't know either. Because I was probably some was shit, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, literally, it would have been just. But I think events. I think like very early on, going to the uh, the second YCS, the one with the Shadow Mat. Hmm. Um, going to that with like friends. Going to even now regionals with friends. Like that kind of stuff was very like, oh, it, yes, you you're cool, but like getting up at some stupid time in the morning and like changing your list immediately like that day or writing out that and then going to the event has just been like nothing that i've done pop culture wise or game wise has replicated that for me like no games that we play like emulate that oh we're gonna fucking drive to P- penrith at like nine in the morning all right sick get up at 7 30 all right off we go we're nearly gonna die on the way to Orange. <laughs> uh, I got us there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, no, was... I said I was gonna get us there. I got us there. It was the bonus is that you were alive. Raining so heavy that you couldn't see the road. I was like, ah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Been through us. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is about the game itself that has kept me like I can't. I cannot kick it. I just. I try. I try and stop. I just can't. There's no point trying to stop. It brings no. in brain dead combo blades like. Hmm. I can flip a trap card. Hang on. Um, but I, I think to what you said, like Pokemon, they don't in the show they don't play the cards. Like it's not. Yeah. That's not the. Still, that's why we love the they, Pokemon video. They play games. the Pokemon, but at the yeah. same time, we well, love the Pokemon video games because that's what we saw. I think that like emulation yeah. video. Yeah, yeah, they probably give is us that. Du- give us battle Duel Kingdom. Give us Duel Kingdom. I want to get all fucking iron. Honestly, if they didn't have like an absolutely garbage VR thing, because I know there is a VR Yu-Gi-Oh thing, but if it, were, if it weren't absolutely garbage, which I'm pretty confident it is, I would play the shit out of it. Bro, give me Duel Kingdom. 
Give us jaw discs. Yeah. We got them. Actually, you know how Mr. Beast set up like a whole Squid Game set and did yeah. that? Can we have that for Doors Kingdom, please? Yeah, that would sure be good. Would Just get what some about, of the cosplayers' blue eyes. What about you? Church <laughs> League? What? Church League? Church, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, at yeah. Church League, when you yeah. won your rounds, you used to get little knockoff star chips. Oh, that's so that's lit. Sick. Well, like, yeah. you know those hexagonal, yeah. I can remember the hexagonal Tarzos that you got? Oh my like, god, yes. Ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had like peeled the sticker off the front and you'd collect those for your wins. That's lit. Yeah, they that's went great. all out. Holy shit, yeah. that's awesome. They were all in. But my Yu-Gi-Oh! fondest memory is when I went to EB Games Shell Harbour, uh, this was not long after it opened. So it was down the other end. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah. the original site. The site that I killed. Um, and I bought the Jinzo Megatin. Oh. It was the first time my parents had spent like more than $5 on the game at one time. And I was so happy getting that secret rare Jinzo. I took yeah. care of it for so long and then I trashed it. Um, but yeah. That's my fondest memory in the game is the feeling that I got the very first time I got like a good Yu-Gi-Oh product and getting that Jinzo because growing up Jinzo was my favorite card mm. like when I was a wee lad it was Jinzo every deck I had no matter what I was playing if it was competent if it was not Jinzo was there like when I was playing protect the wave motion cannon Jinzo yeah. actually wasn't that bad because a lot of spell and trap removal was trap based but Jinzo yeah that's 100% card, my those things work human. really cool they, those like, yeah, so especially they're impossible to open now. Open yeah. now. Yeah. Are they? Are they just like oh, yeah, my rusted XYZ shard? Dragon rusted Cannon shard. is yeah. Um, I remember getting the one with light and darkness dragon in it. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know why. It was just GX era stuff that I was. Also, like, that, was a, that was such a good tin as well. Like, that's such a good idea because like that card needed to be accessible. Yeah. I never got one of those tins myself, but for one of my mate's birthdays, we bought him the Total Defense Shogun one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, because that was, um, yeah, they changed the design for those ones and it looked really cool. Um, that was, because it, yeah, it had like the race center and you could see the card through the, yeah, the thing. into the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Rocket Warrior was one of them. It was Rocket <sighs> Warrior, the ones Total I remember Defense more. Shogun. Um, it was a purple I one. The purple one's the one I got. I feel like it was. Amazonas, or maybe he pulled yeah, an Amazonas yeah, yeah. card. I remember him opening the thing, like the Total Defense yeah, Shogun. He was super. Amazonas one. He must have just pulled it then, because he pulled um, Amazonas Archers the Trap, which I don't think was all that high rarity. But then he also pulled Amazonas Swordswoman oh, in his yeah. packs, and I was like, mm. "Fuck me!" Like that was a busted a good, combo. A good if looking, if... a good looking super as well. Like yeah. that, that super is so dark. Mm, it's, it's clean. It's nice. Beautiful. Um, oh, could be. Could be. But uh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, command, uh, command Knight something. Um, with a little... Fu- like the, little the little fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, my core memory, and it does stretch over a period of time, is the one year so far that we had a proper um, Good Games uh, store championship se- series saga. Um, and that was probably the best year that i've ever had in the game in terms of competitiveness um so at store level i came second i was versing chad in the finals and it was basically a mirror match both of us were playing hand trap invoked normal no normal no pretty much it was like who can see more of the hand traps plus alistair um it ended up being chad obviously because chad um he couldn't end up going to the states which was sad he yeah that's just again chad things um Went to Good Games Wollongong, uh, sorry, Sydney, for the state championship. Um, beat Lewis in the second last game. Um, he was playing Alter Guys, I was playing Thunder Dragon. Um, he sets four back row and passes. I was like, hmm, it's going to be fun. Top deck Denko Seca. Oh. Gets better. Normal Denko Seca. He changed Solemn Judgment. Yep. I changed Red Reboot. Oh. And he's Solemn like, Judgment, original uh, card. Um, and then beat some garbage Cyber Dragon player who played into Imperm Quorum twice. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, came third at state level. Um, and then got, like, the trip to PAX yeah. and all that. And the timing of that couldn't have been better because that was not long after I got made redundant at my job. Mm. So, like, I was in a bit of a miserable position, but that was, like, a little like, getaway yeah, for me yeah. to sort of clear my head. Um, went with Tom because he was going to PAX. You were at PAX as well, doing a oh. panel for Pogo. Yeah, that was just a good time. Oh, it was a great time. 
Yeah, I had my redundancy payout. I had a great time. Um, <laughs> uh, and then came to the day and, yeah, just uh, I was playing, you wouldn't believe it, Invoke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, got to the semi-finals uh, versing Thunder Dragon, um, and because we ver- played in Swiss, I was undefeated in Swiss, um, but I'd versed him in Swiss, and he knew that I was playing a going second deck, um, made me go first, Brick did nothing, lost that game. Then game two, he set up Colossus Titan, uh, what's her name, Curious with a Snow Engrave, and like I just had all search cards, so like I eventually got to Unicorn, Bounced the Colossus. I think I evenly before that, so it was just the Colossus that I had to deal with. Um, and then, yeah, got in my own head a lot and just completely fucked up from there. <laughs> Ended up coming fourth. So it was like a nice progression of second, third, mm. fourth. Um, but yeah, like insanely good time. And it was like the best that I've done in like a series of things to get to that point. Um, so I, I hold that whole series in pretty high regard. I wish they did it again. It makes me sad that More they More structure. God, I, why do I remember like so hardcore buying fake cards from the corner? Yeah, the, the corner shop at Oak Flats. Bro, that like, yeah. even even yeah, I, I I'm sure I I know literally exactly where in my house I have my bulk cards. I'm sure I have them in there. I'm fairly sure I still have a couple of fakes. Yeah, there. I think somewhere in my garage or my parents' house is a Game of Thrones tin, because years later. I, like, pulled all of my cards out of a bag that was in the garage and, like, half of them were, like, wet and had stuck together over the years. But, like, there was a core on top that was, like, still together and I picked it up and 90% of it was fake and I was like, into this tin you go. <laughs> that tin is probably still in that yeah, garage yeah. somewhere. And probably rusted shut. Yep. <laughs> That's fine, it protects them. Yeah. And it shows a fake Boys White Dragon in there from that corner shop. Yeah, like, ge- genuinely, I would like to use them for tokens or something. But, yeah, I, I don't know, that, that whole period of life... And, as you said, like, anything you could get at that time was so valuable. Yeah. It was like, oh, like, okay. I, remember, I had to go to Miranda to get my first packs. I think yeah. Brad was the same. Yeah, Miranda got the starter deck, and that was, like, the like that was such a long time ago on, like, the Saturday afternoon or something. And then having to wait to the Monday to go and play, like, play with it... I was like, oh. The very first cards that I got, we literally went to Warrawong um, Westfield, now Plaza, um, and went to like some like little shop that they had that sold them. They you bought were fake cards. 100% fake. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah. But it was like the fake Pegasus structure deck that I yep, got. Yep. But at that point, like the no, fake and real thing, it was blurred it's lines, whatever. no one knew. But I was so hyped because I was going to a mate's birthday party after, so I brought it with me, but no one else had their cards. So I was sitting there just being like, my two blue eyes is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so on that, kind of, uh, I got my first structure deck from the Kmart that used to be at Shell Harbor Square. Oh, yeah. I got yep. my, my Yugi one from there. And when Seb cracked open his OG starter deck when we opened at that time, the smell was the exact oh, same. Oh, yes. That After original. It must have been years. how it was, how it was like, pressed and cut. They're yeah. just like... Yeah. The smell was identical. And yeah. I was like, this smell it's takes so me back good. to being seven years old oh. and getting my first starter deck. Oh. I'm wondering... I did, I'm not sure if anyone else, like moving away from the card game for a tiny bit to the anime. Did anyone else, like, over lockdown... Like in that beginning of that, where we just went and binged most, like a fair portion of it. Did anyone else get into? Yeah, yeah, I like, did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I it's did. gonna be the same for a lot of people. Like, I it, tried, I, I tried I so hard. It's the virtual world arc, and I was like, like and, no. and that's as and that's as far as you need to go. That first season was so much better than so, I remembered. Um, I it, guess because of how it was released and like the weird thing with like cut like whatever t- channel it was on is that they only play up to a certain point and then reset because it's not out. Yeah. I I had the DVDs up until they finish in the Maze Against the Paradox Brothers. Yeah. And oh, he okay. literally opens the doors and the, the episode ends. And that's just where I had to. Yeah. And I must have watched that 50 times. So in, in lockdown being like, What's up to the door? Show me! <laughs> this man did not go to the Go Low fire sale and bought all the DVDs. No, I did not. See, I got mine from Kmart. Had it, I got one DVD, and it was on clearance. It was the DVD for the arc between seasons one and two. Oh, where it's yeah, the, Duke yeah, Devlin yeah. and Dance Dance Revolution 
and Dungeon Dice Monsters. Yeah, yeah. So I was obsessed with Dungeon Dice Monsters because I had watched those episodes repeatedly. I still want Dungeon Dice Monsters. Uh, was, Luke, Luke has them, right? I was right? going to buy one on eBay a few weeks ago, but it sold before I got a chance. Because the booster packs are so expensive, I didn't oh, yeah, buy it, it on the spot. I, I remember I made like a homemade one when I was a kid. Me and my brother played it. We did too. Yeah, me and my mates. It we're was just like, oh, we can just draw the map. Like none of us put- had the figurines though, so like we just used random objects as like this knight piece is the yeah. dark magician. This pawn is <laughs> Karibo. And yeah, you can you can still get like to another old media memory. Um, <laughs> the one thing that I ever got my auntie to buy me was Dungeon Dice Monsters from Target at Shell Harbor. <laughs> it was just. It was very rare that I got taken care of by my aunts yeah, and yeah. uncles. And this was just after my pop had died. So this would have been... Yeah. Years, 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 years ago. Uh, and yeah, so they were... My parents were off sorting out something. So I was off my auntie. And she took me up the square. And yeah, she got me Dungeon Dice Monsters. Because I saw it and I was like, I have to have this. And she was like, I, how do I say no to this kid? Yeah, <laughs> nah. Like, cool. Yeah, like, even the um the early start to me realizing that, like, the competitive aspect of it was a thing, because growing up playing sports was, like, always competitive, so I always wanted to play you, because I liked you so much, I was like, we even playing at school, I was like, oh, we should, like, try and play as much as possible, and then, like, slowly realizing, like, okay, locals is a thing, oh, okay, they're, like, big events and stuff, and so, like, watching those on YouTube for, like, even the older events that had, like, very little coverage, I remember watching, like, the first big one that happened later on was like the the format of the uh dragons and rulers uh rulers and spell books uh and like that was the first one i remember having good coverage like a decent like it's here or like even the was mermails before or after, after. Rules? Uh, so it would have been d rules had like a good and i was like enthralled by the idea that these events were so big and there would like a lot of people little did i know that would put me in a financial hole, but, um, <laughs> but that, that was like such a cool realization. And then like coming in, meeting Harry, meeting Todd, meeting you, going to fucking LLDS and Logan missing the train. Um, <laughs> you just being on the train and I'm like, oh, I, does anyone else know this guy? Yeah, Tom was like, you, and I was like, yep, I met you once. Off I go. That was me with Tom as well. Yeah. yeah. That's, what it, that's what Tom does. Tom was <laughs> the catalyst of like... Like the second time I ever met Tom was... Uh, he came out to Narrow Locals for the first time ever. And I was the person down there playing Spiral, destroying everyone. And he showed up also playing Spiral. <laughs> and then for some reason in Spiral format, I could just never beat Lewis. I could beat everyone, sure. no uh, questions asked. I, I feel Lewis. like a lot of us have that experience yeah. with yeah. Lewis. So um, yeah, whatever format it is, I can't be lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I did better than him, and he was like, "You need to teach me how to play this deck." This is like two weeks before Melbourne, and I'm like, "Okay." And then we've just been friends ever since. And then that was just it. Yeah. But yeah, no, genuinely, like, even it, it's strange that the show side of things and the like us going to locals and stuff is kind of separated now at this point. But like thinking about it back in the day, it was I, yeah, I was watching all every season i possibly could before i even touched any of the physical cards and now it's like yeah. man i have not watched anything in a while uh, i went back and watched gx and that was a, a I masterpiece need, i need to watch seasons four and five i've never watched them i've got to watch what five. what happened i've, I've, I've I, really got to watch the five. general like i swear to god i've it's done like it seal of yeah and... season four is a complete waste of time okay it doesn't really it's a filler arc and that's the thing i I don't even think it relates to anything for the manga. They it's go like right from Wait, Kingdom which, which City or Calcos. Or Calcos arc. What, with the Pine Valentine that, point, change you, voice actor. To you, that doesn't mean anything. That entire arc. Well, it's just filler. Yeah, right? because it because it just you can jump from three to five. And it doesn't affect anything like in the story overall. I guess, but at the same time, like yeah, there's the reason. The reason I like that arc, barring one or two episodes, is that it gets closer to what the card game actually is. The yeah. cards do, for the most part, what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Whereas, like, that's the detraction when you go back to, like, super early is, like, the shit that they're doing. It just, like, and then five, it goes something. right back out the window. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just... So, one is Kingdom, two is City, three is the virtual world. It's, it's, it's the virtual and world and the, the finals. And the city. Yeah. 
The city right. doesn't end. They get trapped in the virtual world. True, and, and then the that's finals. when they get like the deck masters. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, and the back end of the back end of uh, three is the finals. Uh, four was whatever the fuck. Uh, and then five. Five is dream. Like they go like um, this is the end where they Ancient figure Egypt. Out, they, they turn the pharaoh. Yeah. Bakura's stuff. Okay, I think it must um, be scattered Zork. episodes I've seen. Yeah, interesting. The final that random game. world championship with um, Siegfried. Yeah. Oh, fair. Oh Hades. yes, this I remember. Yeah, yeah with Zivel mm. and and um, and then yeah, that final duel, which is I liked. I re- like I rewatched that final duel a fair bit. It was pretty fun. It's pretty epic. It's a good time. It's a good but, time. But was it Zane and Jaden good? No, it was better than Zane and Jaden. <gasps> yeah, and fine. I rate Zane and Jaden. Yeah, it was. It was good. Um, they had two, right? One was a draw. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, thank you very much. Thank you, Kazuki. You have changed our lives. And given us random people that we would never have met, but... Yeah. All my roommates. Yep. <laughs> like, Every single been that, one. Like, Every one. Um, yeah. And it's just... It's all like, it, whenever anything else is going on, I can go back to, hey, what's going on in Yu-Gi-Oh? I can read, read effects, read combos, make a deck. Because there'll be so many times... Saturday, on a Saturday afternoon I don't do anything else I just sit here and build a deck so thank you thank you so moving on from that we have uh, some news from Master Duel um, so as of Monday many many things happened um, a lot of things yes so things we had got the... me into the mar- into the game yes now Frank's he left. can play yeah <laughs> yeah look completely valid um, so yeah, new uh, pack was introduced. Can't remember what it's called. Something about uh, it. the wandering. It's like wandering something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pack names don't matter. In this I, game. It matters to me, Ben. It so matters to me. Within this pack, Monkey. we have uh, obviously uh, sushi stuff. Wandering travelers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big, the big sushi. The big oh, meta trust swing me. Of hey, sushi. Hey, I know hey. it's in there because do you know how many fucking of them I have? <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many sushi yeah, I have? Sushi right? during your plunder is actually. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. Same. Uh, I beyond... pulled so fucking many. Do you know how long I sat there? Yeah. Like, you fucking... I used to like those cards, okay? I used to like those funny sushi shit. But you know what? Oh, fuck, I, I will burn them all There's to the ground. There's cards for El- Like, if you want to build fucking Eldritch. Yeah, some new zombie stuff. Uh, uh, you've I got you're gonna evil... vampire cards in real life when you're trying to build Skystrike. No, no. Yeah, yeah. That was what <laughs> it was. I yeah, actually, as of when I was building Eldritch in that, it was reliving that fucking pack. So when <laughs> just to sidetrack for a minute, when all of that new zombie stuff came out in the most recent pack, yep. I was like, oh my god, yes, all this garbage vampire shit that I bought back in the day might have gone up in price. I waited a week, checked the price, no shift at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fucking sick. Uh... Um. Yeah, but obviously so, the big meta swings are Adventurer. Um, which they... Yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, and Flundery. So now Blake has a reason to... <laughs> Blake has he a reason... said it! <laughs> Blake has a reason to play the game. Let's go! Um, and to a lesser extent, Ben. I have been playing this. Yeah, but you're not playing Normal. FTK. No, I'm not playing FTK now. I have a different deck to play. Um, so yeah, yeah, in order to address the bigger meta swing of that, uh, they immediately implemented a ban list of, uh, semi-limiting both, uh, Enchantress and Rite. Which, in my opinion, was wrong. They should have hit birds. Nah, (laughs) they never Uh, will. It's the best How many bird mirrors have you played so far? (laughs) (laughs) I have played a lot. Okay. And my deck is designed to close to auto-win that matchup. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, Harpy's Featherstorm chain link 5 on your opponent's turn is like... Because they go... Uh, they go map, Robin R. So, it's like... Flick, Flick, Eglin, Eglin. Anything they've got, plus normally something like else. I don't yeah. know how they do this. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, cool. Now my map's going to trigger. <laughs> then I'm going to Harpy's Featherstorm you. And now it's my turn. I'm going to start doing my combos. You can't respond. Sorry. No, you can't respond. Shut okay. up, bitch. Back to my turn. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, I have versed exactly one. I have played probably 16 mirrors. Okay. I have played. I have got Any some. Any you? I won't. A few. Uh, I won't give us all the data yet, but I have played well, what, about. What rank are you in? Uh, high gold, plat. Okay. Somewhere there. Okay. Um, 
I have played exactly 35 games. Yep. Since yesterday. Yep. I have versed one Flunder. That's actually impressive. Yeah. In my 16 games, it took me to get oh, to actually, Diamond. I tell a lie. I very well might have versed more, but I set up a board and they scooped. So. Okay. Yeah, it might. It might. Well, you don't really scoop in the Flun Mirror. Yeah, maybe you don't. Like, I if don't they know. have map and the continuous spell, you kind of scoop, but. Yeah, it yeah. very well may have been more, oh, but I don't know. Um, I have to explain this to you. While we're here, while we're here, while we're here, if you're interested in birds, I learn this. Um, so. In the map, in the mirror match, if you have the continuous spell face up, yes, and you normal summon, if they go uh, chain their map, normal summon. This is simply applicable if you summon an eaglin, by the way. So when sure, you sure. summon your eaglin, whatever their counter summon is, if you eaglin tribute summon over using the card that they have normal summoned that is about to trigger, it will not trigger. <laughs> really? Yeah, because it's no yeah. longer in the place yeah, where it's it, meant to resolve. It, does not read. That's so like so in, weird. The, in the mirror match, if you tribute over there, say if you go eagle and they go eagle, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tribute summon over whatever they've summoned, when on their resolving their summons, does not count as being summoned. Goodbye. That's so strange. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's how new world. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah if, that's if, how the OCG if, rule is If an activated worked. effect is not yeah. is moved from the location of activation activated. destination, it cannot yeah. activate. That's so, you just so tribute strange. Over it, and then their line is dead. Uh, are we in the Thunder <laughs> portion? Uh, yeah, like we are I'm... still quite solidly in Flunder Corner. Uh, okay, okay, we're in Burr Corner. Okay, so, <laughs> on a, out of my 35 games, yep, 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 yep. I have won exactly four coin tosses. <laughs> Fucking four. I've recorded all these games, by the way. I have the receipts. Um, I have won... The only loss I have had, I have had a single loss. Uh, I opened Ash in and... What? In yeah. yeah. In oh, all, all the way up, all the way up. Because I had to start from the shit array. Yeah. Um, Logan in the shit array so happened struggles, and I was like, dude. Right. Yeah, he's um, like, bro, I can't fucked. get. No, I think he's like, he cried out. He's like, oh, I've been promoted to bronze three. I'm like, bah! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, going yeah, back to yeah, this, yeah, yeah. I have another thing. He played against the Flunderies player in bronze that activated to well, he added Fusion Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have something so similar that was just shit house? <laughs> yeah, so I was versing a Flunder player. I had, like, the board set up for the most part. Um, he goes, uh, Quiet Life. I was like, okay, I've always said that this was, like, a decent card what? in Flunder. It is does it, kind what? of cuck you out of... What is it? Um, once you commit to a certain type of summoning, that's all you can do. So if you're normal, you can only normal. If you're special, you can only special. Is it but a trap? Have... Is it a spell? What does it do? Okay. I'm assuming they play that with the counter trap for Flunderies. That Probably. Then that locks then you into the opposite. Summoning? Yeah, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he does that then activates the continuous spell i was like okay cool well i've got the chi Zhao and the baron negate so this is fine um kaiju's over the baron i was like what yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. turning like, off his entire deck <laughs> you're not playing thunder you're playing shit kaiju's what? Well, that's the thing. After that, he said two, and I was talking to Ben about it. I was like, what is this Flunder player doing? I don't understand. He's like, maybe he's not playing Flunder. Flunder. Maybe he's playing um, Draco. And that's yeah. just like an extra card to like tribute over your shit. And I was like, I mean, sure. And then the next turn, he's like, duality, reveal bird. I'm like, no, he's just no, fucking he's ace. No, stupid. <laughs> he's just uh, dumb. I, I, again, the only loss I've had was very low ranked. Like, really low. Like, when I did my second or third game, ever. And... I had like per pretty much perfect going second opener. I was like imperm ash and like map starters, and he goes normal summon fucking no ye, and I go eh. ash him or oh, imperm him, and he was like cool. Do the other thing. I was like ash it. And he was like okay, cool. Set three, and I went. I feel like this is gonna be bad for me, <laughs> and I was like <laughs> map, and he was like ogre, oh, and I went. I have thought several times about putting Ogre in. Normal summon. He goes blackout. And I was like... Okay. No problem. I, 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 will, I will leave. Sorry about that. I apologise <laughs> for getting in your way. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to normal summon next game. My bad. And then literally immediately the next game, because I think I might cut it together, immediately the next game is just me going, should I have an open match? Uh, normal being a normal statue pass. And they go... Scoop. <laughs> and I was like, 
Yeah, anyway. We done in, we done in Burg Corner? Any more Burg Corner? Yes. Um, oh, shifty, no, shifty and Vanity's emptiness is yeah. not fucking I, okay. I was just about to be like, man. That is, that oh, is ridiculous. Is. Them thinking they can swing over my thing, uh, like swing over a bird and take away Vanity's, and it just banishes itself, and they go... Oh, okay. You know what's really good against this? The few people that are still playing Eldritch, uh, the amount of times I've been like, they discard Eldritch target the barrier statue, and I'm like... <laughs> Harpy's feather storm, and then a scoop. Oh, god damn! Yes, so exiting it's, it's, bird corner. It's just a um, plague. That's the, the 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 crux of this whole thing. Flanders will be a plague to this game for a long time, and I, I'm so happy about it. Enchantress and right to two. Yes. Yeah, immediately. That's Before does that set a precedent released. you believe going ahead? Do you think yes. that's just that's well, how it's we're not the second yeah. time that they've preemptively hit something. In the last ban list they oh, put Fusion Destiny. Into back two. In birds. Oh we just left Bird Corner. No, no what's up? Going full bird combo oh, for yes. fuck's sake. Set, yes. Uh your opponent goes, It's okay. I've got the wandering griffin rider and you're like, It's okay. Vanity's <laughs> empty. No you don't. <laughs> Because it stays in it. Oh, by the way, in learning how to use the Master Door as a client, I have returned some of my own cards to my hand a few times. Um, on so what? On mobile. Rise up. <laughs> I'm just looking at shit, bro. I'm just looking at shit. And then, like, it's like the whole board lights up, and I go, I want to use Rise's effect. And he goes, Okay, return Rise to the hand. I was like, Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> on mobile, uh, I've been playing. Fully handicapped this entire oh, without being able to chain link. Yeah, so you can't chain block on mobile. No. Yeah, on mobile you can't select. I chains. refuse to play on mobile ever. Um, how you also cannot turn on uh, chain. Oh, you can't toggle on. Yeah, so it is always auto, meaning you can't draw phase effects. Uh, the amount of times I've had trap trick playing on mobile and wanting to go trap trick in the draw phase, set D barrier to then stop whatever's going to happen in standby phase, can't do it on mobile. Sure. Just play at home, you get the advantage. Home field advantage, literally. Yeah, home field advantage. Exiting bird corner. Okay, again. So this is this how they're going to balance. Do you think they're going to be more cautious about balancing the game upon releasing cards in the future? Well, they already have knowledge of what happens in these formats now. Oh, yeah. So far yeah, behind, that's the thing. They've got right? like a six so, month foresight as to what's going to happen. In the I mean, game if they really try, they could do that in the real game if they just paid for R&D. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke. Uh, <laughs> so, but, uh, do they have prank kids? Sorry? In yes, that's a yes. full power. That, and that, that now he was at full three. Power. So we're gonna see Pranked Adventure probably. I saw. I've seen a couple of PK adventures already. Yeah, um, so. PK doesn't need it. It has Rongo combo. Like you honestly do not oh, need to add adventure to that. Fucking yeah, Rongo's, Rongo's mini ad is yeah, still legal. Off. VFD is still legal. That's fine. It's fine. They can't normal summon. And they, can't, they won't even touch <laughs> it. Yet, it's okay. As long as they don't. As long as they don't have a bunch of wins, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Vanity's time is surely limited, though. Yeah. You say that. It's literally only just got banned in the OCG. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. Wrong, but like, wrong. In, in no, no, no. Wrong's been banned in there for ages. Yeah, I was like... No, Vanity's Emptiness only just yeah, got banned yes. in the OCG. Yeah, only just get banned. In saying that, though, again, I haven't seen anybody... Fl- oh, my God. Sorry. We have to go back. Getting Max Back to the back. Getting Max Seed, bro. I got... I have been Max Seed on turn one so many times however my favorite so far and again i'm so glad i have this recorded because it's my live reaction main phase one pot of duality chain maxi <laughs> i was like ah oh, you are the stupid i've seen that in so many people's replays is, too uh, was there anything to discard like is there any reason that maxi's worth keeping around there's, there's Once duality's no... activated you may as well discard it yeah, yeah. like there's well, no twin twist no because around. if they're going to summon a barrier statue and you don't want to lose your good combo pieces you set the maxi yeah it's a good point it um, is a defender i'm not bothering playing maxi in the deck because you get negated twice you just lose anyway so fucking maxi can get in the bin Okay. Now plays a cross out target. That's a funny. Hard I got one. cross out. Of, I, I'm getting cross out at heaps. Are people playing cross out on Master Duel? Yeah. Why is my imperm getting crossed out like every half, every because, second game? Because it's the only one stop fucking imperm. Yeah, yeah I know. But like, why are we doing it? that? Well, we aren't. We just it? aren't doing that. Well, like, do you, do you have the room for it? I no, no, no. I'm not saying Flanders. I'm saying us in the TCG oh. are just not doing that. Just say absolutely. Are. I feel like I haven't Grand, seen the enough Most lists. branded lists have been playing cross out for ages because oh, yeah. that deck needs to be hard insulated from Ash. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Also, Imperm doesn't turn up. 
Is is Imperm even in the main format at the moment? I haven't seen many lists. It's not played as much. Yeah. So it's like that was like that was its big advantage. Um, That's fair. But at the same time, yeah, in mirror matches, obviously you should consider it. Run it in Master Duel. Do it. Yeah. I don't. It's a, it's a UR, would you? Which apparently I don't think you can afford. What? No, <laughs> I can because, oh, because the way Master Duel. Yeah, because I won so much, and my counts just stonked. Like, I, I was at zero zero. I was at zero nothing. I, I had fuck all. I got... I, I watched your profile. I saw you had zero. Yeah. Not, not <laughs> only did I have zero, right? I... To finish the list, I finished it two minutes before I recorded that because I was just going to play with one card missing because I was that broke. Um, Because I just spent a bunch of money on the game to get the, the list. A mission completed, which gave me exactly 30 UR thing. So I could make the vanity's <laughs> emptiness, so I could then record it, and I was just like, "Thank you." I didn't notice Thank that you. on the picture you sent me of your list. You didn't have the vanities, and then on the profile, the vanities was there, and I was like, "Hey." Yeah, yeah. I I, I literally just couldn't afford it, but now my I, I think I could make another deck. So Exiting so. bird corner. Yes. Uh, apparently, we're stuff. just on a triangle block where the whole <laughs> yeah, thing no. is bird Keep, corner. Cut, we're oh, just keeps, a bird tower. To change subject. A lot of Dragon Maid stuff entered Master yes. Duel. Is that why uh, I've been seeing Dragon Maid? So much yeah, Dragon Maid. So made. they released a Dragon Maid structure deck. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose the advantage for you being that you had it built, as far as I know. Wait, yeah. did you? Yeah, you did. Oh, I didn't have three H Seal. That was the only thing stopping me from playing the deck. Which yeah. is in the structure deck. Yeah, it is in the structure deck. Yeah, but I think the benefit of buying it outside the structure deck is I think you get better chances, or chances in general, of getting Royal Rares. Which awesome. I don't what the think fuck you get in the structure decks. The, the shiny. really shiny Shadowfalls. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Also, you can just... I pulled white one. For me, it is effectively free URs because I can buy the structure decks and then scrap the other Dragon Maids that I have. Oh, yeah, of course. Get the URs back. Is it cheaper to do that? It's 500 gems to get me what? One structure deck. Yeah, 500 gems gets me one structure deck. That then gets me like 30 URs at minimum. And a bunch of SRs for the regular Dragon Maids. Oh, uh, right. I guess. That's yeah, fine. That's a good... Pack gem. Actually, that's something I should look into. I think I started building it. Hmm? Yeah. Because mm. yeah. Dragon Maid's was pricey. Continue. Anyway. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, we did get the Dragon Maid structure deck. Uh, we also got our very first premium mate uh, in Laundry Dragon Maid. Um, it's premium premium in that it has more animation. Um, as we've shown on the channel before, it uh, goes oh, it from Laundry into Dragon Maid yeah. into Not whatever its dragon name is. Um, during the battle phase and then reverts back to normal Dragon Mage That's outside cute. the battle phase. It is a cute little thing. Yeah, yeah. What's um, a clicky what's a clicky animation? This is a couple of things. One uh, of them's she pretty weeby. Cleans the floor with her tail. The other she goes she like pulls out a, <laughs> yeah, that's the weeby one. She pulls <laughs> yeah, out that. a broom one she's I'm glad we're not doing it. Which makes no interest. sense because she's it. meant to be doing laundry. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah. are you sweeping the floor? I wanna see the laundry <laughs> Drag wants to see the socks. I feel like we're fuck <laughs> <laughs> We also got uh, <laughs> we also got uh, dragon maid socks. A house dragon maid logo. You did. We got dragon maid dragon sleeves. Dragon maid sleeves. Yeah, Ooh, it's literally thunder sleeves. Fuck off. What? No sleeves for you. Everything dragon maid, and I bought all of it. <laughs> I we need to go back to the corner. <laughs> they didn't give us advent. Bro. They yeah, didn't yeah, give yeah. us advent, which no is advent. weird, right? So no, it's not weird. It's no, it was in bode. No, no. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What it the fuck was absolutely it? Absolutely wasn't. No, it was you... in the Dark Illusion. Uh, the yeah, yeah, Illusion of Chaos pack. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not weird at all. Cool. Despia still don't have their shit. Sorry. And that came out in the same pack as Flundery. Yeah. So you run. What did you Despia uh, get in both? Did we not? In both. Not... The... Yeah. Oh. And, and okay. Chimera. Uh, Which would be really no, great in Master Duel right now because not... we have zero off turn interaction. Both was not in that. That 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 Chimera wasn't in both. Adley was. Adlib and Bernie Dragon were. Chimera was. Well, we had Bernie Dragon. Chimera I guess. is with Advent over in Battle of Chaos. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, Battle of Chaos is what we're missing. And then you'll get your Chimera. Yeah. I'll get my fucking quick we play don't spell. Have so don't have to play from that Booker Moon. Yep. Yeah, there's a heap of shit that we're missing. But yes. anyway, it's getting there. Well, Eventually. In three months' time. Yeah. It's fine. I think I can How get to How long has the season one. got left? Hmm? 60 days. Alright, I can get to 100 before then. Yeah, I'm already at 70. So soon yeah, I will have scapegoat. I'm at 20 and I'm like, I just, I'm going to grind it because I want that scapegoat. It's Australian, um, game, isn't it? Huh? Is it scapegoat or Australian? Excuse Shut me? up! 
<laughs> is it a scapegoat or Australian? I don't know. It's scapegoat. It hmm? says on it. Scapegoat. Okay, it does. Uh, okay, I guess I should. I swear I had you broke my brain. Oh, Australian already in it. Australian isn't coloured. It's just white. Oh. Okay. Whoever said that it was Australian, shut the fuck up. I thought, the, the, horns. Oh, yeah. thought the, the horns. I forgot, the horns I forgot to bring out the goat. They are in Australians. They're curled. Interestingly, well, when you when you search mastered all the like the fourth suggested is from there. I should have uploaded my profile already. Yeah, you, you really it's, should. It's filmed already. Yeah, you should have. It goes up tomorrow night. Put it uh, on now. I like yeah. something in me was going to ask if I could throw it up to be like this is another version. I was like, nah, you posting this shit. When your I in, literally say it. I, I noticed was like, in your video you say mine, but I already pre-recorded my video where I sell people to go to you. Ah, oh, let's go. Oh, that's nice. Um, as well as that, we do have a leak from uh the data mining of the next festival. Um, it is the uh, No X Festival, um, which is to say no extra X allowed. We can't play Prosperity. Yeah, that's the only thing, right? I, I considered it before. I was like, let's go, baby! And then I went, oh, I can't play Pros. It's just going to be Flood Mirrors. Yeah. I'm going to put more... Oh, so d barrier goes out. Three continuous. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yes. Three continuous, three duality. Surely there's a level one draw card. Surely. Uh, one for one. <laughs> Where are they? Special the bird. <laughs> Where are they? I was, uh, mm, not great. Uh, <laughs> Isn't no, that's if you control a level one, add a level one. Correct. Yeah, and then you take two K if you don't normal summon it, which oh. in Flunder is fine. Um, um, but yeah, what else could we see? see. Eldritch. Eldritch. Yeah, but the thing is, they're going to bring an augmented ban list as well. Hopefully, that will address the fact that everyone's just like. I already know that every Draco and stun player got a fucking massive hard on when yeah. they saw no extra deck. To be fair, if you're doing a no extra deck tournament, I think you have to let that stuff be there. That's kind of the point, what, right? That's what, what they want to play. Do? Yeah. They've done it in every other one. No, it's like, fine to say, oh, this is the format for you, but in the same time, they were playing that in Fusion Fest, they were playing it in Synchro yeah. Fest, they were playing it in fucking So, with everything. the festivals, because again, don't care, haven't played. Um... How, do you just queue into games and they get rewards? It works based exactly on... the same on ladder yeah. as, as it would. Um, you get um, a separate currency called medals, and the more medals you get, you get different prizes as you go up. So super early on, you just get a fuck ton of gems for free. Like legitimately, within the first nine thousand, you can earn up to a thousand gems. And the idea, I guess, is then funnel people into the festival. Is there a a, a, a downside to losing like if now i go there if, is. There if I, used to not be now there is. if i go second and they go ballistic can i just go next game yeah like or am i gonna the, lose the medals? thing is you get 200 medals no 500 medals sorry for mm. winning 50 for losing and if you scoop sure. you get nothing so it's just a waste yeah. of time yeah that's okay i'm okay with that cool that, yeah like yeah. there's no point whittling away like 30 minutes against some yeah. person's fucking aids board a, it's not entertaining. B, you're not really getting that much out of it. You're better off just scooping and moving on to the next Draco player. Literally, uh, as a half zone player, I scoop. I play new game. Ratio it. Especially playing funders. Like, what are they... Like, I set up my board, they lose the game, or I don't. Like, I'll just move on with my life. That's cool. I don't mind that as, a, like, a structure to... A lot of free shit, I might have to build either Dynamist or Yosenju, I think. I would love to play your Senju. Oh, I actually might do that. Actually, Imagine. I'll take that back because uh, you... Well, actually, Lightning put it in. No, no, no. Um, they're saying the Pendulums are exempt. Oh! Like, they still can't play extra deck shit like Fusion, Synchro. You have Electromite, right? Yeah, yeah, but not in this. They're saying that, it's like, like you can no, play Pendulum about Pendulums and they go to the extra deck. Gotcha. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. You get one back. Yes. But in decks like uh, Senju, A, you don't actually care. You're not Pendulum Summoning, for the most part. No, you just Being slap Dino it Mist, It's fine, because if you get Charge, it brings it Dodge. back anyway. Dodge. Can I ask you a very Dodge. specific Yosenju question? I don't know if we're no. qualified people to answer it. I'm going to ask. Um, th they made a Yosenju trap, and it's a really good trap. Uh -huh. It's a counter spell. Yep. Counter tra oh, God, I'm so tired. Counter trap. A counter trap, right? It just stops everything. That's uh -huh. what it does. Yep. Why did they make it specific to them having no monsters when all the monsters come back to hand in the end phase? Uh, it's literally... just to stop it from being able to be mixed with Infernity. True. Yeah. yeah. Next, next bit of news. Uh, the next bit of news is that we have some more product announced. Oh, I was going to say, the oh. last uh, Oceanics. Yes. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, literally um, got announced... 
right before locals ended tonight. Oh shit! Uh, the third and fourth of September. Okay. In Auckland. Auckland is the one. Yep. Um, which is problematic for two reasons uh, for me. A, a weekend which I knew it was going to be Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Particularly Saturday, and B, in another country. Um, so yeah, I may struggle to get to this one. All right. Let me. Uh, September Finally. where? Third and fourth. Auckland. Do not buy your ticket yet. <laughs> uh, they are announcing tomorrow as to how you can get your entry stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to see what... Oh, if you qualify, like... you can still get stuff. Is, or do you have uh, to go? I don't know. I think they're putting up some kind of purchasing thing to purchase your entry and whatever that Purchase entails. entry? Yeah. Has well, so that you... always been a thing? At to, Oceanics? Uh, to... for, no, for major events under COVID, you have to pre-register by pre-purchasing a ticket and then that lets you then... Enter. But you're right, I thought Oceanx was a free entry nationals. Oh, what was, yeah, yeah, like nationals what's the point of qualifying if you then have to pay? That makes no sense to me. Maybe it's because I don't RSVP remember paying at Oceanix. Oh. Yeah, maybe it's like Eventbrite, but you have to register your info. I'm going, yeah. wait. You come with me. I'm, I'm listed. I want to go. Tomorrow, the first thing I'm doing is like is trying to negotiate something. Yeah, yeah they're fucking, rough. it's rough. It is it's rough. like 300 return. No, what? it's like six. Yeah, it's six. Oh, like 600 return? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it yeah. wasn't that much yeah. when I looked it up. No, the way it... back is really good. But, oh, actually, no. I've done it uh, wrong. When, when I was, when I've done I was it wrong because early, I, I, I did fly. the date, but you wouldn't fly in on the date. Oh, you can save a little bit. Okay, okay. Like four... It, no, it's 500 bucks flat. Yeah. If you go on the Friday and come back on the Monday. For travelling to events, it's good information. Try not to travel on days like... Uh, Friday afternoons, uh, Sunday afternoons, I'm if you can afford it, night. because swear, yeah, I've... try and go nights. Yeah. They're just a lot it's cheaper. meant to be that. Like it's yeah, meant it's to be cheaper, cheaper but it'll obviously... save you so much money if you can. Like obviously, with people that work Monday to Friday, it's like it's a bit tricky, but there's a reason it's more expensive. It's yeah, it's and also it's uh, such a popular travel route at the moment, and uh, airlines are pretty rough, so that yep. is to be expected. What um, if we get? And... Imagine getting a cancelled flight. You just fucked. You That's can't it. Attend the event. Yeah, no. Uh, I would be playing Flunder if I would go. Correct, Flunder. Yeah, uh, I would be. I, I would be playing Splat. Oh my god! Of course. Oh Ben. If we even have the product by then, we'll have the product. It's, it's in the main set. We'll it's have the so product. close though. If Splat is insanely expensive, it's so close. Because we're just going to be brain dead and go, oh my god, tier zero deck, and everyone's going to buy the shit out of it. Are we the first event after it again? Yes. Maybe. Because it'll be Cause Worlds. Because it's meant to be end of all Worlds, a little August, bit of a break. Right? Well, not Worlds. The final remaining uh, championships will be before that pack. Yeah. That'll be, this is going to be whack. That's going to be great. And there's no ban list between now and then either. So no, literally not until we're just adding Christmas. Splat into <laughs> no, yeah, no an already Christmas. messed up format. Um, when does it come out? What? Of it's start of August. Yeah, yeah, start of August. So we so have we'll like have three weeks. Yeah. yeah, we have like three weeks ish. Um, no, I'm actually I'm no. I think there's a flat. there's a white at the end of August. I'm pretty sure. Hmm? I'm pretty sure there's a white at the end of August. At the end of the day, good luck to all of you who qualified. All of you who've been grinding it out for the past three years, and it's all going to be thrown away just some dumb qualification for an Auckland regionals. Silly. What's pricing? Any, did Not any, good. Anything? They haven't announced any of that yet. Literally just got a date. That's all we have. All right. Well, I'm hoping to go there as well, so I'm going to go and get a kayak. All See right. you in three months. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Good luck. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Beyond that, we do have some product news. Um, so, a bunch of stuff got revealed in the Attack of the Giant cards. Uh, um, sorry, just on Bragg's point really quickly. Uh, Rhea. Oh, Rio YCS Rio is, is in o- August 27th and 28th. South American YCS is but a little weird, though. Rio doesn't count. It's a Brazilian YCS. You can't play the whole cup. <laughs> we can, can you play Splat? Probably not. Right. Yeah, I, I doubt they'll have it, hey. Um, so, yeah, we do have um, a bunch of stuff that got announced. Oh, actually, to circle back to video games for a little bit, um, on that same Thursday, they did another, like, shadow drop of Cross Duel. The other game oh, that yeah, they were it developing like dropped, but I couldn't find it on the App Store. Yeah, because I think it only released released in certain countries oh, to start, okay. so you had to like do some um, some freaky shit to get it early. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've all done Lord freaky VPN. shit to get stuff early. Norton VPN. Yeah, Norton VPN. Are we sponsored by them yet? 
Make I hate am. Okay, I was okay, about to sorry. say, shut the fuck Affi- up. No, affiliated. affiliated. Yes, no affiliated. problem. No problem. Um, it's a weird way that it works from what I can work out, because I watched a little bit of a video of it today. I didn't bother. Um, so it's the same field format as uh, Duel Links, yep. 3 and 3. Yeah. Um, apparently, and this is just based on what I could see, where you summon the monster is where it can attack. So Senna can attack across... This one can attack over there. This, this is, one can attack over there. This is gets worse. Um, you can summon as many jobs as you like in a turn. So it's like sevens that you can just like summon, 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 draw back up to the thing at the is start it of your next turn. Four players. Yeah, it's cross duel. It's literally you play four yeah, player. Yeah. Um, but the most fucked up thing about it is that it doesn't work like normal Yu Gi Oh for attack points. It's more like um, health points. So if you attack into a blue eyes with a dark magician, the sure. dark magician dies, but then the blue eyes goes down to five hundred. Oh, it's half stone or magic or yeah, this like is, yeah. this is just one shots. Is it really? Yeah. So for a company that's like hell bent on not having people not play their physical card game and like alleviating everything humanly possible to do so, they're really keen to just bring out fucking shitty knockoff games that nobody's gonna play in two months. Do you think it's a tax break? Do you think that's what they're doing? Do they pay a studio and fucking in the UK or in Brazil to fucking make shitty app games for them? No, that would involve getting the product to Brazil so they know what to do. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what I reckon that it is? I reckon they put cards in front of like people that have never seen it before and they go, play play this game. How do you think this would work? Literally. I think that's how they do it. And then they work out what they've done. They're like, okay, well, we can't really do that because you can't really hit another person. But let's take everything else that you've done and we'll make that into a game so that people can play our game without playing our game because if they want to play the game they have to pay to play do you think they just re-release Dungeon Dice Monsters oh my god Ben that's such a good idea that would go off and I'm telling you if they re-released Capsule Coliseum although I'd probably be the only one I would play the shit out of it if you think about like the app market because that's what like obviously that's what Konami and in extension a lot of like uh, Japanese video games space around um, Dungeon Dice Monster would go off on the App Store yep. it really yes. would like simple animations gotcha e- everything's the there games. absolutely absolutely it would go off um, I am also by the way convinced that they're paying people like really really good salaries to develop these games and it's probably one studio that does like a lot of them and just goes they're... here's a product my dude see I, see something six months. like this I don't think they're paying a lot of money I think they're paying just like whatever they can pay to try and get someone to create a game that can bring in whales of course if they yeah, can yeah, find yeah, a way yeah, to yeah, get you're whales right. hooked yeah you're right that pay like one whale can pay for an entire It'd person's be, salary for yeah, a whole year absolutely yeah 100% uh, that is very fair especially again because App Store that's just what they like to do what's next in the news Jake? Uh, next in the news is we brought up uh, Green Ninja last week. Uh, a new. Uh, oh, you missed out. Uh, Greninja. Green Ninja. Green Ninja. Sorry, we don't want to get sued. Um, yeah, so. A new card that was released is Green Ninja. Sure, I'm with you. It is a Green Ninja. Yeah. Like it is a ninja in, like in uh, uh, Ninjango. Yeah. We'll don't want that. to get sued. No, but it's Green Ninja. He said, he said the wrong thing anyway. We can't get sued. Okay. Oh, is it not Ninjango? <laughs> Ninjango. No. You've mixed, Ninjango and you've mixed a Lego set with a Quentin t- Tarantino film. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I thinking of? Ninjago? You, you were really close, but you just added that extra letter. <laughs> so, yeah, Quentin Tarantino is a Lego man. <laughs> we, we came up with a, a full he, penguin he combo would, that involves Ninjango. He would like that because you can detach the feet in Lego. Oh, true. You can just keep them. Uh, uh, <laughs> what does Green Ninja do? <laughs> um, so basically, it revolves around flip monsters. So oh, so, oh monster sorry, sorry. Stuff, it's an archetype. No, no, no. It's so a, it's a. We got this released, and it just like was looked. Yeah, it looked as though. Generic. What is it? It's a ninja, but it's green. When something, is it a monster? When something yes. summon flip it, summon it, and flip it face down. So yeah, if something summoned to your board, you summon the green ninja, and you flip the other monster face down. Then when the green ninja leaves the field, you target a set monster and flip it face up. Yeah, penguin ninja. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. came up with full penguin ninja combo. It's Horror, yeah. Is it when your opponent summons something? No, no. it's Ooh. not a hand trap. So you normal summon your penguin. It's ninja. only for your own shit. 
You summon. Oh, is this when the prediction Greedy princess girl? came up in the group chat? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Around the same yeah, time. Yeah, 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 there was a bunch of prediction princess shit. Uh, basically, the combos that I've seen of it, they just summon guard dog, which is a flip monster that basically yeah. says your opponent can't special summon for the rest of the turn. Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. That's Normal, all yeah. it does. We love it. Okay. Yeah, um, don't care about that. Yeah, you... um, so, um, in isolation, we thought that that's what Green Ninja was best for. Sure. It was just going to be uh, our new Penguin Ninja combo. Piece. Penguin Ninja combo deck. Yes. Um, but there is a whole bunch of other ninjas that make it make a lot more sense. Um, we have Blue Ninja. Um, or I should say Sky Ninja Tobari um, it's an earth one uh, discards itself um, and then summons a ninja from your hand face down um, summon and a penguin ninja perhaps. you reveal it um, and then while it's um, while it's on the board during the opponent's main or battle phase it fusion summons uh, using uh, cards from hand um, and then we have uh, insect ninja Mitsu um, that one, uh, if you control a ninja or a face down monster, it special summons itself. Um, if opponent activates a quick effect, target a face down defense position, change a face up, uh, and then it flips itself face down. Um, but yeah, whole bunch of ninja flippy penguin cards. Penguin ninja got a lot of support. Penguin ninja <laughs> got whole lots of support. Uh, more than penguin has ever got. Um, actually, that's not a lie. Penguin got a whole set. Including penguin ninja, who then got his own set. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and then yeah, there's more ninjinzu uh, cards that do stuff. Um, right. There's just a whole lot to read through, and I know Ben can't wait like me to see them when I open packs and then not see them again. Uh, more importantly than the ninja support, we have uh, further support for Splite. Oh yes, I saw this. Really good. Yes. Uh, so the link is uh, if it's summoned, uh, send a level two from deck. Uh, if another monster special summoned to the field, detach. Dupe it, frog? Uh, what, wait, what? Totem, whatever Why is it the Lincoln system? talking about? If a monster is special summoned while this monster is on the field, detach a material from an Xe, target monster on the field, return to the hand. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen people, like, it's really dumb the way they have to do it, and it can already be done, but they basically do an FTK with it. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah, because Cyberstein's a level 2. It is. You are correct. Do you know what it is a link to? The thing that changes it to a psychic. <laughs> so yeah, psychic like heal zone, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, not not that. It's the. Oh, is it not? No, psychic field zone's the synchro card from Banished. Oh, okay, I thought that was the, the one common one. card that's worth twenty dollars, and that's why I refused to buy it. What psychic field zone? Psychic field zone. I wanted to make uh, Mech Knight Psyframe ages ago. Yeah. And that was literally I needed one copy of it, and it's like twenty dollars on eBay no. plus shipping. I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that doesn't add a whole heap to the deck, but it's just a nice thing to have. It will be a one-off just a little bit. in the extra deck, and you'd go, when you need to dump Ronin or Dupe, I yep. forget which one is which. Oh, I don't care. It's alright though. In better news, Ben, we have more Albaz cards! Sort of. Not really. <laughs> He's in the artwork. That has very little to do with the cards. Okay. Um, one's for Spriggans. Um, if a card you control will be destroyed by battle card effects, send a fusion monster that lists Albaz from deck to graveyard instead. Sure. Uh, doesn't... Who this last week? Hmm? No, no, these were different. These are different? Yeah, these are different. That's why I tried to bait you into a reaction earlier, but you're doing it like 10 seconds later than what I wanted. Um, and then we have a Tribrigade card. Um, does Tribrigade things. Albaz is in both the artworks for these, but has almost little, like, almost nothing to do with them. Funny if nothing else. Um, what else do we have? We have um, new adventure cards as well, but oh. they like hard lock you into the archetype if you use sure. it. So again, really like if this skip, like yeah, acknowledgement of skip. this is what the deck we want the deck to do, and they go, but what if it does? Thi no, that's bad. Okay, skip. sorry. Like you skip uh, people's turns. Skip. True, you do do that. Um. I've, I've learned that if I get kaiju call XCs on V-Barrier <laughs> oh what yeah because um, if the they're kaiju you, they're about to go Dragoobleon or Numeron sure the cheese it's one of the two can, can you get no you can't get kaiju to favor barrier statue if you have barrier statue unless they have the win unless they have the win one. one I have been but, win barrier statue yeah oh. a lot of the kaiju -y decks are transitioning to that for that ex specific reason how about don't be a dickhead? Like, let You're me barry a statue. Fuck you. It's you a are barrier the statue, bro. Again, uh, I got fucked tonight because I didn't open the barrier statue. 
Uh, however, I did have the Vanity's Emptiness, but you're on order a chain on mobile phones, oh, no. so you can't flip Vanity's Emptiness in standby phase. Very unfortunate. Oh, um, stinky. In other news, we have some upcoming support for the uh, Magirune. What, what's it? They Mister called Rune. Mister Rune, that's the one. Um, another fusion, um, well, which they, you they never got, actually fusion. They got on. their new name for us. It is Runic. Runic. I don't actually hate that. It's not yeah. bad. Uh, it's this was in the giant card stuff that you were meant to talk. You started. I was talking meant to talk about, about it, and then I got excited skipped. over Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excited uh, over. We got it confirmed that they are Runic cards. Sure. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, Runic. Uh, yeah. Freaky or Freaky, if you prefer. Uh, Is it F R E double K Y? Uh, F R E K I. Freaky. 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 Uh, Freaky <laughs> the Runic Fangs. Uh, level 5 Dark Beast. Uh, if it's attacking something, uh, banish the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Uh, you don't deal damage when it attacks from either end. And if it uh, leaves the field by battle card effect, uh, target one of your quick plays and add it back to your hand. So, again, that's their fourth fusion monster now, which is nice. Why are we pulling faces? No, uh, just in case. Uh, traditionally, touching that stops the microphone. <laughs> really? Yes. So, if the podcast ended all of a sudden, blame him. Uh, I, in saying that, there has been several uh, feature matches you've done where I just pick it up and start talking into it. So Yeah. Uh, the time, though, that we used it in the car, it stopped working. Oh. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of needed for that deck as well. Like something that gives you a bit of offense, it has a cute little effect that goes along with it. Like battle banish two, it just helps you do more. Not only are you getting a little bit of offense off, you're also banishing some more cards from the top of the deck. If branded weren't so resource heavy of like what you wanted to do, I would absolutely play a blend of the two. Yeah, yeah. No, seem- no creativity from you, bitch. It's been a long time since I've been creative. <laughs> now I'm just like, Green mm, is not that deck. Uh, <laughs> um, moving on, we uh, move on to Discord. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. The link will be in the description below. Feel free to join in, say hi, and ask us questions such as... Um, <laughs> Lachlan. <laughs> where, Lachlan. Where is Lachlan? He is the best member of CPG and has a big PP. Uh, yep. Do you, know where, do you know where he isn't reading our questions? Correct. Of which there are many he could have read out. <laughs> yeah, men could have read out questions. Uh, so our first actual question comes from Oracle Osiris. Um, what is your favourite slash well thought uh, relaunch or retrain of an archetype? Um, like Twilight Sworn to Light Sworn kind of thing. It Celt- has been asked before. Celtic Guardian. <laughs> when he got retrained into Dungeon Dark Monsters. <laughs> Um. <laughs> um. Again, mine kind of goes without saying, but the um add-on for agents, uh, great s- cards, just not a great deck. Splite for frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is totally awesome a retrain. Yep. I mean, kind of. Yeah, frogs just FTK before totally. Awesome <laughs> yeah, they on. did. That's all. Or they got uh, normal summoned over by fucking large lads. When they got... large Larry and his crew of banishers. Your three copies that are on the ban list, you put them all together on top of each other, and you call them totally awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wasn't um, that one a level one? What one? Uh, uh, the, uh, no, the, like on this the one. When he fly. The art, they become the art. He fly. Oh, Tree Trigger Frog. Yeah, 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 he's definitely a level he one. He fly. How busted is yeah. it that, like, before the errata, you could summon him any number of times in the standby phase? Yeah. So, fucking enemy controller tribute it and steal your opponent's shit Extremely. oh it's still my uh, standby phase and I still have no spell and traps I bring him back again <laughs> he come back <laughs> oh dumb so dumb um yeah Not- Notorious Cly um one of our newer Stop members you. um what are your tried and true rules of deck building um <laughs> copy face <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, as uh, mentioned just before, I have very little originality when it comes to building decks. It's basically just tailoring it to your locals. Um, don't just play copy paste directly of what you see in terms of side decking, at least. Yeah. Um, never you never have to pay attention it. to side decks unless yeah. there is a specific reason. Um, also, know what your deck wants to do and build to it. Don't try and jam a bunch of shit in because it's good, I swear. 
it's not. Just do what your deck wants to do really well. You but win a lot more games. If it comes out of your mouth, you can probably consider cutting it. Yeah. Um, what's my probably biggest tried and true? I build a lot of decks. Uh, uh you, I think your one would be uh, don't let them ever play the game. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if you have F D K or you, turn skip. Pick if one. you look at your deck and go, that would be unfair. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Also, um, if you're a new player, you probably don't. You're probably going to say a lot of things are unfair, and they probably are. Yeah. Games unfair. Welcome to Yu Gi Oh. Games unfair. Um, be unfair. Yeah, if you want to play uh, something where everyone gets to interact, don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah. punch um, Or at least play it ten years ago. Don't uh, play multiple copies of Bricks. Like, try yeah. not to... If, if, if you have a searchable good card, just play one of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yes, that's a very simplified way of explaining it. Uh, basically, just sort of learn a lot of that over time as well. Of like, oh yeah, I don't need too many of that because this does that. And da 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 If you're entire 40 card list is built up of your engine maybe look at trying to trim some stuff down to fit some hand traps in yes um and also don't put in cards because in certain scenarios they can come up oh my god that's so yeah don't say in this one time against this one deck it worked really well yeah if, you, my brother, if that comes out of your mouth the cards come my brother in christ move away from the light <laughs> <laughs> stop bro i've heard it so many times you know what? But against dinos, it's great. See, it can't... What have you played against dinos? Once in middle school. Great. Get it out. Well, like, when they give you a situation, and that situation, they're clearly playing against someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. And it's like, oh. So, when you negated the Oviraptor with some fucking terrible last card... Breakthrough skill. Yeah. Yeah. So, when that happened, they didn't use the double evolution pill? Okay, don't worry. Also... Wait, you mean they had Misk in hand? <laughs> when you go into time, Diane Keto wins you the game. Don't play the fucking card. I don't care. Card too slow. Just win by beating them rather than regaining life points. Unless you're playing Aramage. Aramage, which, case, uh, Aramage, which I have played on Master Duel three times now. Oh, you versed it? Yes. I have never seen that deck on that in my life. It was really I I. easy. Yeah. It would be. <laughs> anyway. uh, next question comes from... Uh, is it eight or six? Six. Six sites. Six sites. Six. It's really annoying because there's a lot of S's. That is his name. Six sites. Six. Nah, man. Five. Six sites. Six. Yeah, but I want to say it first. Anyway, um, his question is: What is better? Option A: Play meta decks that have in archetype interaction slash negation, i.e., Sword Soul. Play decks that can turbo would, out multiple true. boss monsters, i.e. Salomon Great. Salomon Great don't have fucking boss monsters. They right. have boss traps. I'm sorry, uh, my brother. Uh, <laughs> Two of these statements again, aren't true. That's that. Salomon Great's the first thing. Right. Multiple boss monsters. What's a deck that does that? Uh, not multiple boss Everything monsters. Everything comes from the Klee extra deck. Like maybe Star. Like, no, no, but that's but that's like multiple, one, right? Multiple. Yeah, I, Klee has one. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll just we'll take boss boss monsters uh, yeah. or C play a deck that runs every hand trap trap and hope for the best. I.e. Eldritch. You see, here's the thing: put all three together and you've got yourself a meta deck. <laughs> so, um, uh, Sword Soul doesn't actually have in uh, in engine negates because you need a bunch of random extra deck cards and stuff. Like, well, those are those are cards some of the some still of them within are, archetype. Like, some of them like, are within Chijia archetype. Searches you, uh, yeah. fucking stuff that's accessible. Thing. Um, I, I believe this is we're talking cards you can just ex access from your engine no questions asked there it is realistically you historically, want to be playing a mixture of all three historically in formats it's better to have an archetype that does one thing really well and just always can do it boss monsters have historically not gone great yeah. um, they don't last around for long they can have their format wrong wrong gong had its format Please had their format, but masterpieces. Masterpiece Typically, had boss monsters format. come in singles. They yeah. Don't come in multiples. Um, um, I yeah, genuinely, it's probably a mix of the first one and the third one, and then you've got a really, really good deck. But it, it again depend. Also, depending on what time you're playing in Yu-Gi-Oh, there were times in Yu-Gi-Oh where you definitely didn't want to do the first one. Um, it just depends. So, like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, effectively, if you can play a twenty-two card engine, and that engine is if it's a two card combo you're fucking cheering two cards is normally good that's essentially sword soul you fill the rest of it with hand traps do Gucci happy days um you can let's say let's go prank kids 
that deck is effectively you're playing 18 one card combos yep. and then the rest of your deck can be hand traps that's perfectly fine uh yeah there's a reason that card that deck got stuff kit still hit on the ban list zodiac, zodiac you're playing one card engines one card engines those that's one card that's engines, very like the rest of it with yeah. interaction yeah yeah if you can play as powerful a deck in as a limited shield. amount of cards as possible and fill the rest of it with interaction you're doing pretty so good if I had to pick one I will pick B because that's the most dickheady B's turbo are boss monsters yeah I would pick that if I if I had to pick one of the options just because I think it's funny just make sure your opponent can't play the game powers oh. yeah the less your opponent plays the game the better yeah. but at the same time don't be too far on the other in that they can't play the game at all is, I'm not of that thing is Master Diamond a boss monster? yes Turbo White multiple Master Diamond win the game um, <laughs> I live for the tribute a bunch of stuff play a thing them go hmm alright and I go haha got you bitch uh, next question uh, comes from uh, Nico Saliba or Saiba um, in all seriousness do you think that tier elements will come to the forefront here in the TCG uh, seeing how they are now outperforming Splite in the ACG or do you think that Splite will be the big one first um, when did tier the, elements come out in the same set same set so the, th the thing to keep in mind and we've said it in the last couple of podcasts that we've been on is that you can't take the TCG as a direct translation of what will happen based OCG. on the OCG the yeah. other way around yeah, OCG is not a direct translation to the TCG. At this point in the OCG, Branded was winning everything. At this point in the TCG, Branded is winning nothing. Yeah. Because everything's hard. We, we've had a lot of time to understand what Branded is and how to stop it. Yeah, but at the same time, like other decks existed in that same format. Um, like Punk, Therion, were, is a big deck here at the moment. Like It is a very popular engine but it saw little to no play in the OCG. Yeah. So yeah. as much as you'd like to think that like, oh yeah, uh, Splite big in OCG, therefore Splite big in TCG, there are a couple of differences. Obviously their ban list is different. Uh, the key part of that is that they could search Max C in their combo. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. Yeah, which means their refill game is insane. They can just spew all their um, resources to the board and go, if you want to do anything you're going to give me my shit back and you go ah uh, that's a problem um, yeah so, so even if you hand trap the yeah. shit out of them on their turn they could just drop a max C on you and you're literally just letting them come back into the game so maybe in grind games they might not go as well uh, also you've got to think about like uh, the way they played around hand traps was very specific they ran like two of everything or two 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 one 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 and then played cross outs and just went okay this is how I'm going to play the game um, we tend to not do that here. Again, we tend to be very big on like three, three, three. Leave it at that. We want to see them all the time. Um, it'll just have different things and weirder things to play through. So I'm, I think it is set up to do really well in terms of tier elements. Um, it depends how we build the deck. I think the deck is kind of like almost RNG heavy, but like yeah, elements? that's the the thing that tier elements has going against it until they get more consistency cards in the um, Ishizu stuff in that like you're praying that you hit the right stuff off the top of the deck yeah. to be able to fusion summon yeah so long term Ashizu will be probably the better deck simply because I think Splite will be hit relentlessly when they get hit whereas Ishizu it'll be hit in December and then it'll be hit in March and then it'll be hit, yeah, dodge yeah. for a little bit yeah. and then it will take hold and unless I, uh, yeah. there was a new archetype announced tonight that apparently really busted we'll get to it we'll cover it next week it's like the fire archetype um, oh yeah the race yeah, yeah. if that is overly nation? busted that might be able to take a bit of the shine off to elements by the time it's good here but yeah, yeah. alright it'll be cool seeing them both come out at once uh, and then like how we build the decks especially tier elements if we build the deck differently it will function completely it's differently it's strange like, having effectively seven viable decks in a format yeah it's been much. a long time it's basically the only time that we ever get to a point where there's seven viable decks in a format is after a ban list has come in and everything good is dead yeah, yeah. and then we're just like but if you a good example of the OCG thing is Flunder just fucking destroyed the OCG for a while uh, it didn't do that here it's just different format 
well, uh, it, that, like, it that has differently. a bit more to do with the way the but, families but, work. So. Yeah, that's what I mean though. Like it like actually functions very yeah, differently, the and then timeline was very different. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and it just means formats look different, and what you have to play against is super different. Uh, and you can go to these big events and verse seven uh Despier or seven branded in a row here or there or you can go to one here or there and verse seven different decks it just depends like, yeah yeah you know, so we'll see but um if you're looking to if you're asking because you want to try and pick one of them up maybe uh tier elements will be cheaper it depends entirely on how you like to play a game tier elements will absolutely be cheaper yeah um because even if even if they even if the cores come out at exactly the same they have the exact same number of secrets oh, all of yeah. that kind of stuff the yeah. stuff that you have to buy subsequently in tier elements is way cheaper than what you'd have to buy in supply I will just because toads have been hyped up to the shit house if you want to um save some money and maybe tier elements like we, we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago maybe it might be a good investment point just pick up the cards if you can if they're not too expensive wait a couple of weeks let tier elements like like the prices come down after a new set's released and if you want to pick them up when splite get hit you might have a very 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 viable deck for not that much money but if splite get hit and tier elements are disgustingly good their price will come up so don't kick yourself in six months time when they double shot oh. splite and then um we talked about it a little bit with the uh winter cherries um reprint as well the, well um yeah anyway not bringing that up um i figured out the reason why tier element decks were playing the link to and uh, it's because they summoned the link to that's always good to have a cherries target you can also access mm. yeah but they were playing cherries <laughs> i saw all the listeners you were playing cherries <laughs> okay uh the last question we have for tonight uh comes from tuesday's noob uh, why do people get so angry about people using certain cards in matches, calling other people lame for doing so? Uh, I get the aimed age of the game is 12, but why do so many people act as that age as well? Well, uh, the word was you in your name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's a few different reasons why people might get frustrated for you for playing different cards. Depends on the cards. Um, if you're playing Blue Eyes, they're getting frustrated because that doesn't do anything but and no, you're taking you're seven minutes for a wise, turn no one should ever have a problem with you yeah eh. it is purely no. like no. I, I think it's it purely a case death. of like yeah true um insert clip <laughs> insert clip <laughs> um, <laughs> um if you're playing Mystic Mine Field Barrier uh Pot of the Old Man and all that kind of stuff that's reasonable. they have an entirely different problem with you but it's not it's not like actually functionally about that I think it's just play styles and like people get so, so two things Playstyles, people want an interactive game. Just yeah. naturally. You don't want to feel like you're not allowed to play the game. But the second thing is, a lot of people just can't afford the cards that are kicking the shit out of them. And when that happens, they get spiteful yes. as shit, and they get mad, yes. and they go, why can't I have that thing you keep fucking beating me with? That is two very different ends of the spectrum. Yes. <laughs> very different ends. That's where you're getting blown out, and you're like, fuck you, you won because you had the blowout card. And then... Again, on the opposite end, you're getting blown out because you can't play. Yeah. It's Either just like, you've done thanks. a lot of playing and then get told that was worthless. Dickhead, yeah. Or you got to do no playing and got told you were worthless. Yeah. There's literally nothing worse than setting up a full board and they haven't hand trapped you once and then they go evenly storm fucking uh, infirm the board and then you're like... I wish to apologise to Kurt if you're watching this. I, uh... Did you do that two thing? weeks in a row, I dark rule it evenly <laughs> Game two, Dark Ruler evenly. That's unfortunate. So rude. Um, but yeah, that is kind of that bracket. Just to try if, and be like nicer. That, yeah, if you're cares. that person, stop being that person. Like, who gives a shit? Like, actually, like the person who's picked up Mystic Mind Store for fucking twenty dollars because they can't afford to play the game probably doesn't overly love the deck either. But. No! Have you met my sleep. friend Tom Holland? Yeah. No. <laughs> gentleman is sleeping there. But, but this is the thing, right? <laughs> they do it for an, a very small amount of time and then go, oh, I'm good. And just do something else. They're like, oh, I'm good. I'm just thinking of Tom. Tom yeah. will come in for he like two weeks and then go, nah, how about that? Yeah, I'm actually done. Harry's the same. Oh, I'll play Wave Motion Cannon. You know what? Over it. Yeah, true. Uh, but that does conclude us for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Uh, if you're listening to this on Spotify, uh, put us in your favourites. Catch us next week. Uh, and we will see you then. Peace. Bye. Ah.